Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to yet another one of Greek Rage's settlements. This is his newest one, the Teffington Boathouse, which is actually the Teffington Island. Yes, because it has been separated uh, from uh, the rest of the area with this little river here. And it looks very nice. Looks quite beautiful. See? Very nicely designed. And we gotta get rid of a couple of these goddamn blood sucking bastards they're all gonna you're all gonna die you're all gonna die die little bitch there we go they're dead see you just uh, you gotta get rid of that shit oh, you're still alive still alive S still alive still your stupid little there we go that's much better it's very satisfying using the alien blaster because it blasts everyone's asshole open. Yes. That's what I wanted to say and that's what I said. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, Slaven. What the fuck are you doing? This is Slaven. Uh, Slaven is uh, a Croatian immigrant who came to Teffington Boathouse as a human. But due to some uh, very strange things that happened, he uh, simply uh, got turned into a dog. And now he wanders aimlessly through the Teffington Island searching for a cure but he when you become a dog from being a human your intelligence drops so rapidly that you become just you become like a worm you're just a stupid stupid dog so unfortunately he the only ability that he has is walking around he doesn't even know how to eat food it really is a miracle that he is still alive i don't know how he stays alive i think that uh, when he got changed from a human to a dog that something happened to his body as well, so he doesn't need food or anything. He just walks aimlessly around, see? He just walks around. He just walks around, man! He doesn't give a shit! Poor Slaven. I'm so sorry. Yeah, let's get rid of the blaster. So, what are we gonna do? Let's go first here. This is the security tower. The security tower is very, very simple. The frame rate is bad. Yes, I understand that, but that just... Ignore that, alright? Ignore that. We have the sleeping bag on top of some sort of a little bench, a table and a chair. Would be nice if uh, there were some posters here, because when you have posters, you have fapping material. Now, even if posters have cars or, or I don't know, animals or... Sh you know, people have different tastes and different uh, fetishes, so... I'm sure that once you are in the security tower and you are bored, you very, very uh, nicely can just sit down and... Uh, do a fap, but without a poster it's kind of difficult to do that. So yeah, the frame rate is kind of bad, but it's actually pretty decent when I play it without recording. It uh, usually tries to stay around 40, but I assume that it's not possible to optimize it, because, you know, it's Bethesda and Bethesda's engine is as optimized as my asshole. And I can assure... Why, why, do, why do I do that? Why do I say these things? I don't... I don't... I'm sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry. So over here we have the the beautiful uh, water. The hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't know. I heard something, but I think that. Well, I'm not really sure what this is. I think that this is a uh, uh, mirror lurk. That's a mirror lurk. You fucking asshole! Where are you? Where are you, piece of shit? Where are you gonna die? There you go. There you go. Suffer. See, uh, I get distracted. I'm sorry. I'm trying to explain what this is. I think that this is a water generator. You see, because you have you have these uh, kind of wind windmill things that are generating power through water. At least that's my assumption. Not really sure how it works, but it works. <laughs> if it works, it works. You know how they say. I'm not really sure if they say that at all, but... Again, it doesn't really matter. Over here we have some uh, defenses and uh, spotlight. Beautiful. Beautiful! Why is it shaking? Look, look, look how it's shaking. Will you stop shaking? That's weird. That is weird. That is weird. Fallout is not supposed to have physical properties. So that's just... That confuses... Who opened this door? Did I open this door? Slaven, did you open this door? No, he can't open the door. There's no way that he opened it. But here we have the marina. Now you're probably wondering why is this floating? Now, uh, 
This is floating because of many, many reasons, but the main reason for the flotation of this workbench is magic. It's magical. It's a magical workbench. It is able to turn humans into dogs, and that is why it's floating, because it does not like uh, normal human uh, rules of gravity. So it does what it wants. It doesn't like evolution either, so that's why it changed Slaven. So this is a magical workbench. Just, just so it's clear, just so everyone understands. Over here we have a button. Now if you push the button, things happen. That's what usually buttons do. And this happens. Not really sure what this uh, represents. I guess it's a loading bay or of some sort. You load shit onto it. Now... I assume that this should be able to go down, but I don't know how, because if you press it twice, it just goes back. You know, so I I guess there would need to be another button to lower the bay, the bay thing down, so you can place something on top of it. I don't know. Over here we have uh, a couple of uh, paint buckets. We have a power armor station. And once we open this door, we have a couple of workbenches. Hey. Weapons workbench and chemistry workbench Toolbox Pretty decent stuff And now once we get on top of uh, On top of this boat we can see that Really nothing special is happening over here except for this thing here See this? It's beautifully designed and that- oh wait, ah What is this? Mini fusion generator No don't, 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 Tur turn it off Turn it off, something is gonna explode. Da, da, da. Okay, it's just getting louder. Let, let's go away from here before something explodes. Uh, so, this place here. Now, if we go up here, we have uh, a button. Once you press the button, you go choo choo on the other side. See? Lovely. Choo choo on the other side. Too bad there's no sounds. It would be good if there was a sound. You know, like a. Like the wires going... Uh, guys, you understand that sounds should exist here, right? This thing up here. It should produce the sound that it usually produces. I don't really know what that sound is. Because I have never used a thing like this in real life. But I assume that it has something to do with uh, metal grinding on a wire. Is there such such a sound? I, I... What the fuck was that? For the love of God, what the hell is going on? That was a very, very effective explosion. That made me curious as to what is happening. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Very nice explosion. But yeah, this is... Uh, this area now, once we go here, this is... I assume that... This is... Wait, I'm... Am I gonna be able to open it? Yes, I will. So, this is like a... Like a bridge that also serves the purpose of, I guess... I don't know, like a wall? Wall? Could you say it's a wall? Because it simply blocks the travel of boats and everything. Ah. The Mirelurk King! The Mirelurk King shall die! You will die and suffer the pain of a thousand babies! There we go. There. Oh, I like the Alien Blaster. The Alien Blaster is extremely satisfying to use. Get rid of the music, he is dead. Stop it. I like it. You know, I like these animated things. They're very uh, unusual to see in Fallout. <laughs> as, as depressing as that sounds. Animated objects in a game? What is this? 2077? Wait, what year is it? I, I don't actually know. 2000 and... I, I don't know what year is it. I, I don't really know much about the Fallout lore. I will actually start making videos about Fallout lore, but I will do the lore myself. I will make it up, because that's what I do. I make shit up. So I assume that you guys are gonna like that. Now this is uh, the diner. A diner that looks very basic. And actually quite attractive. I would like to visit this diner and, uh, you know, sit and enjoy a coffee or something. Although I don't really drink coffee, so I would probably Combine it with an energy drink and some vodka. Coffee with an energy drink and a vodka. Does such a thing exist? Would I die if I drank that? I probably would. Next to that we have... We have another shop. See, another shop. 
actually looks very nice. I like the design of the shop. Very nicely done. And uh, they check out this area with the little boat. The little boat. I want to check out the area with the little boat. Let us go and see the little boat. Wait, what is this? I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of rooms. A lot of rooms and a lot of things. The small boat is down here. Ah, so it's a fishing boat. Ah, it's a small fishing boat. Let me get over here. Ah, very cool. Well, it's a little bit of a tight space over here. Oh, fishies! Fishies! Tight space. It's probably not easy to go through, you know. But it's, it's fine, I guess. This is the cooking station. Set private. Can set a private cooking station. That is a little bit rude, you know. Unplayable. Look at this. Absolutely unplayable. What the hell, man? But aside from that, it's pretty decent. Decent shitter. Good job. See, it even has a window. And it has an open space up there, so you can't suffocate from all the shittiness. Shittiness. <laughs> Whoops. Here we have the story of uh, Margaret. And that's related to the original settlement stuff. It would be nice if uh, there was more story to it. But honestly, when I was uh, going through this area for the first time, I kind of wanted to do this myself. You know, build something myself, something like this. But when I was going through under Nyer's settlements, I, I don't have the same feel. You know, I have a feel like his are a different type of settlements compared to these. And I would like to make something like this. But when I check out Underniers, I don't really have uh, the same desire, so it's a bit strange. Here we have a place where you can get some guns. Yeah, this is a locked behind a locked door, and here we have another one of those window, uh, window, window things. What the hell do you call this? I never know. What is this? It's not a window. It's not a door. It's a window door. Path gap stupid here we have Anna's cafe Anna's cafe that looks very nice I l really like this design it looks quite alive especially the the bar I like it like it here we can open this door and uh, grab the ice cold Vim quartz let's take that here we have the place where you can operate on the organs. Now over here it's questionable what happened here, you know, some people say that uh, it's not magic what happened to Slavin, but I disagree. I, tr I firmly believe that it is magical it has nothing to do with this uh, medical room. Oh, and of course, the chair for legless motherfuckers. It has to be in every settlement, because if your settlement doesn't have a chair for legless motherfuckers, you're doing something wrong. Now, it would be nice if the place had a portal to Zimbabwe, but unfortunately, I have not found it. So, Mr. Greek Rage, if it would be nice if you could add a portal portal to Zimbabwe in the next settlement that you do. I would uh, very much appreciate that. Now, here in the back side, we have a beautiful garden. And over here, we have uh, another dog. Now this here, this here is Milan. Now Milan uh, came from Serbia, actually, not Croatia. But uh, Milan and Slaven came together because, uh, you know, they were online buddies and they decided to both, uh, you know, just uh, move to another place together and they decided to come here. And both of them uh, suffered the same fate and became uh, dogs. Now why are they different colors? Well, because Milan, uh, Milan's hair started uh, graying quite quickly. He was like 27 and he already had gray hair, while Slaven had normal hair, you know, normal brown hair. So that is why Milan looks uh, so different. So that's how it is. And over here we have this beautiful Brahmin. Now the Brahmin himself, uh, it's a Brahmin, it's not a human, right? It's a fucking Brahmin. You can't... You can't turn a human into a Brahmi, that, that's just wrong. It's bad and wrong. And up here, you may have heard it, but this place, this place right here, it has a lovely little 
cat! It's a cat! Now this is also a cat. You can't turn a human into a cat. Because cats are just naturally on higher than uh, humans on the chain. Because, you know, cats are our overlords in reality. And this cat is basically controlling everyone here. I don't know its name. The gods won't tell me. The gods won't share this information with me, so... What is your name? I don't know. But you must respect the cat. The cat picked this uh, picture. Yeah, believe it or not. It has quite the artistic mindset, I assume. Artistic mindset. Very respectable, and uh, we must go away, but... I just wanted to comment on this room here. Quite tight space. I'm not really sure I'm a big fan of this. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> very tight spacing. Makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But let us go out, let's leave the cat alone. It's important to, uh, to not bother the cat because you will suffer greatly. So please uh, make sure to be nice to the cat. Always. Now here we have a, a room. I think this is the best looking place. This here. Wait, get rid of the sounds. Okay, this radio was producing the sound. I, I couldn't tell because it doesn't have surround, so I couldn't find the source. But this room looks beautiful. See, it's just, it's beautiful. We have a, well, the bed is kind of shit. But just the design of the room, I really like it. This open space here with the, this counter and it's just beautiful. I would, as soon as I came here, I just wanted to sit down and enjoy the view and enjoy the place. Unfortunately, that is not possible because this is not our home. We cannot stay here for much longer. The gods will get mad. And you don't want to anger the gods, because then uh, shit's gonna be bad. Uh, was I here? I was here, right? Yes, I was here. Wait, wait, can I not go up to the second level? Yes, I should be able to go up. I don't think I have gone up. Where are the stairs? Here are the stairs. Let's go up, see what's happening. Ah, this room here. This is also very cool. I kind of like this design where, where the entire wall is like a window. I don't know, it kind of looks uh, fancy. And I like fancy stuff. At least I like seeing them, or designing them. I don't really care about living in a fancy place. And I think uh, that is uh, most of it. This is another one of the shitters. Very nicely designed. See, it's very compact, and yet uh, it has enough space for everything. Very good. You have improved your uh, shitter design. Greek Rage, my friend. Very nicely done. Where the hell do I go out? Over here. So, did I check out everything? I th think so. I am not entirely sure. But I think this is most of it. So we have a little bit of a backstory that I created myself. Why are you alive? Why are you alive? Die, bitch! One more. Die, bitch! <laughs> Pain. Pain and suffering. I like it. I have always liked pain and suffering. It is just enjoyable. But yeah, I think this is all. Let me just go ahead and uh, go fly over it a little bit. So we can see it from a distance. It's quite massive. Very nicely done. See, the entire area has been changed. Things have been added. And it's just beautifully done. We got two dogs, we got a cat, some enemies as well, the Mirelurk, as always, it's a signature thing. We got these animated, animated things, which are also beautiful. Everything very nicely done. So good job, Mr. Greek Rage, I like it. It would be nice if there, was, there were a couple of notes and a little bit of a context added to the dogs. Do you have any idea how beautiful that would be? Oh, that would be so beautiful. Do you guys maybe have any ideas for this settlement? You know, maybe a backstory or uh, or something regarding it? Because it would add quite a lot of depth to it. And that would be very nice. Keep up the good work, my friend. And thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what do you think about it. And I shall see you next time.
I have been Petar, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petar the Eternally touch your body.